Welcome back to Pajama Sam 2, everybody. Praise be to God on this fantastic day. So today, we should actually start, um, you know, getting some of the weather parts back. <laughs> so for one, we actually have the rubber band now, so we can fix the Wind Nuts water bottling machine that he's stuck in. Hello again, sir. Again, dude, you don't have to greet me every time I enter the room. It's really not necessary. Oh, I never get tired of this music, though. <laughs> Alright, back to the water machine. Oh, that was some nice parkour there, Sam. What's up? Are you alright in there? Sure, I'm fine. I like to swim. But they'll be going nuts at the sun machine without me. Did I mention I was the most important guy there? I think you did mention that. Yeah, well, only because it's true. <laughs> I really don't think that's true. Alright, we can fix the rubber band. There! Not a bad job, if I must say so myself. Hey, yeah. quit fooling <laughs> around and get me out of here! They need me back at the sun machine! Yeah, I don't know how Sam looped that rubber band on those, but uh, I won't complain. Let's start the machine. Whoa! <laughs> that would be a great thumbnail, but it's too similar to one I've already done. It's not fair. I'm calling my lawyer. What? <laughs> well, we got the water bottling plant working again. So. Now we got this machine that's automating the process. Oh, that's nice. This is great, just great. Out of a big bottle and into a small bottle. Don't worry, I'll get you out. Hey, could you make it snappy? I've got work to do. I guess I could just leave you here. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Just get me out of here, okay? <laughs> okay, I wouldn't really leave you here. But Jim and Sam always helps those in need. That's good. But yeah, now he's stuck in the bottle, and apparently Pajama Sam's not good enough at unscrewing the top to actually get him out. So, that's a bit of a problem. Alright, now this is kind of cool in that... Oh, hang on. We can go up here. And you see this giant fan we've got here? Well, we can actually turn it around because of this crank handle. I'd find where this went if I looked hard enough. Bravo. Hey, this thing turns. Booyah. Now if we restart the wind machine, it'll blow away the clouds in the other direction. Like so. <laughs> Now we can go up to a whole new area. So we can grab this hard hat here. Oh boy, a hard hat! It works great! <laughs> That'll come in handy in a bit. In the meantime, we got these lockers here. The lockers are ticklish, apparently. Hello? Is someone out there? Yes, I'm Pajama Sam. Who's in there? It's me, the Y-Pipe. Why do you ask? The Y-Pipe? Well, I've been looking for you. You have? Why? I'm looking for all the important pieces to the weather machines. Really? Why? So I can put you all back and fix the machines. Why would you want to do that? 
Because all the weather everywhere is going crazy, and thunder and lightning are in trouble, and, and it's sort of my fault. What did you do to cause all that? Never mind that now. It's not important. I've got to get you out of there. Do you know the combination to this lock? Why do you ask me? I don't even know whose locker this is. Oh, that's Foster Boondoggle's locker. He always uses his birthday as the combination. <laughs> What's his birthday? I don't know. Hey, um, Sam? Yes? Are you going to get me out of here? Don't worry, I'll think of something. Interesting. Uh, thanks, thanks, Anthropomorphic Locker. I appreciate it. <laughs> the wind is too strong. That's right, because the wind machine is blowing directly this way, so that's why we can't go back that way. But that's okay. Yeah, the Y pipe, always asking why. <laughs> oh, subtle pun. But, alright, we'll have to figure out Foster Boondoggle's birthday before we can unlock him. Alright, in the meantime, we've got an apple core. We can actually work this machine this way. Basically, you put seeds there, and it adds seeds into the machine. Which means we can plant new uh, uh, apple trees. Because you remember, the apples, they were out of seeds. They have more seeds now because of our apple core. And then, so let's get the necessary weather conditions down. Kaboom! So I just planted an apple seed there. And we're going to simulate four days of sun and four days of rain. Wow, that's fast! Yeah, we get a brand new apple. Can I get a machine like that oh, for my house? A shiny apple! Boy, I'll say. Compared to the ones in Buzzy the Knowledge Book. Wow, that's all, like, very lifelike. Okay, now you'll remember the snowman that we met in the snow area. It was like, oh, I need something that matches my yellow tie. Well, we got bananas here. So let's simulate three days of sun and five days of rain. And we can grow a banana. That is not what a banana tree looks like. Now, personally, I do not like bananas, but we need it for this adventure, so I will take it. I like to peel bananas. It's like they're food you're supposed to play with. <laughs> I'm glad some people enjoy bananas, because I sure do not. Alright, back to the snow machine. Hopefully, Pajama Sam's pajamas are of the electric variant. Otherwise, he's gonna be very cold. Hey, snowman, how would you like a banana? Here, what do you think of this? Oh! Oh, I say! That's an excellent match! Hey! Spectacular! I'll be recognized! <laughs> you may have this rabble-rousing vegetable in return! Okay! You gotta hide me, kid. I'm undercover, you know, investigating the economic exploitation of the workers here. All right, I'll hide you! <laughs> All right. But you can see he's still grumpy because the snow inspector is not there, so he has to do more work. All right, <laughs> this is where the wing nut goes. Here, wing nut. This is where he belongs, all right, but I've got to get him out of the bottle first. Aw, oh, bother. That's okay. We can take this nice little shortcut. I'll use the escape button a bit more, I think. How are things going, Sam? I'm not exactly sure what to do. Have you looked at the damage report I gave you? No. Take a look at it. You find the pieces that are listed on there and put them back where they belong. 
That's right, we probably should look at the damage report. So that's the wing nut, that's the Velocimometer, that's the Snow Inspector, and that's the Y-Pipe. And it even shows you exactly where each of them go. So that's pretty nice. Hi! Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness! I'm sorry, I'm very tense. The weather's completely out of control, and I don't know what to do. Don't worry, I'm gonna fix the weather machines. Okay, okay, that's good. Everything's all right. I'll just work on the report. All right. Good day, Mr. Sam. Back to the Weather uh, business building. Because there's a lot of stuff we can do here. Let's go back to the lunchroom. So now you'll notice here, that's a bottle opener. They don't have those really much nowadays. Because everything's got those nice screw-off tops. Ah! Boy, it's good to be out of there. I'll never make fun of a genie again. See? <laughs> I told you I could help. Thanks a lot, Sam. You're a good egg. Egg? Listen, could you do me one last favor? I need you to get me back to the sun machine. They must be going crazy over there without me. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and please hurry. Sure, I'll take you back there. Thanks. Yeah, we'll, we'll make sure to do that in this episode, because we really do need to make some legitimate progress. Good on you for recycling, Sam. Way to be a, a nice, a good influence on everybody else. Alright, you'll remember George someone really wanted an apple, so we happen to have an apple now. Hey dude, I brought you this just for you. I brought you an apple. <laughs> wow! Thanks! This is a terrific looking apple. You're welcome. I'm not supposed to eat in here. Tell you what, I'm going to go to the lunch room to eat this. Help yourself to whatever you need while I'm gone. Okay. Oh, that's very kind of you, and that can't at all be ethical. A lot of this stuff needs to be confidential, but he said it was okay, guys, so... If it isn't, he's in trouble, not us. All right, let's look at all the employees. Sheila Zwicky. Birthday, 422. Favorite food, oatmeal. Favorite color, orange. All right. George someone. Birthday, 1-3. Favorite food, apples. Favorite color, black. Andrew Glimmer. Birthday, 923. Favorite food, prunes. Favorite color, beige? <laughs> He's a man of odd tastes. I forgot that all these guys have actual names. Brad Carpenter. Birth date, 7.30. Favorite food, coffee cake. Favorite color, lavender. Okay, none of this information is, like, important. Jersey or, like, Langston private. the third. Birth date, 8.18. Favorite food, sushi. Favorite color, periwinkle. Hmm, interesting. Broody Beagle. Birth date, 12-5. Favorite food, tuna salad. Favorite color, red. Bill Gate. Best one. <laughs> Birth date, 3-14. Favorite food, broccoli. Favorite color, blue. I don't know anybody whose favorite food is broccoli. Lightning. Birth date, 5-28. Favorite food, Orange marmalade. Favorite color, yellow. Is it sad that I remembered that Lightning's favorite food was orange marmalade? I think that is. Thunder. Birth date, 528. Favorite food, donuts. Favorite color, blue. Foster Boondoggle. Birth date, 822. Favorite food, potato chips. Favorite color, Green. Aha! I'll just take this along so I don't forget. <laughs> yeah, that's Foster Boondoggle. We don't actually interact with him ever, though. Bernie Applebaum. Birth date, 316. Favorite food, mushroom pizza. Favorite color, purple. Rhoda Dendron. Birth oh my gosh. How did I never get that? Favorite food. Chicken cordon bleu? <laughs> Favorite color, candy apple red. 
Okay, how did I never get the pun rhododendron? That's hilarious. Also, again, sad that I remembered her favorite food was chicken cordon bleu. Mainly because I thought that was such a funny food when I was a kid. Anyhow, if we go back to the lunchroom, George, someone's here who's just staring loneliness at the apple, but he's not actually going to eat it. Are you enjoying that apple? Oh, yes. <laughs> All right, if you say so. All right, I would like another shot at the board. What do you guys do besides have meetings? Having meetings is very important. We have to decide things, you know. Having meetings is how we decide things. What kind of things do you decide at meetings? Oh, we decide a lot of things. It's about setting down rules and procedures, mostly. Rules and procedures for what? Meetings. <laughs> so, you have meetings to talk about how to have meetings? Very well put. I shall have to remember that. <laughs> Do you ever have meetings to talk about how to have meetings about meetings? Naturally. Oh my gosh. Don't you think it would just be simpler if you stopped having meetings? Not have meetings? Preposterous. Then how would we decide on the procedures for having meetings? You wouldn't need to since you wouldn't be having any meetings. <laughs> I'm really too busy for this sort of nonsense. Oh, jeez. I'm ready to go ahead with the test now. All right, then. Go ahead and choose a question. Explain Giffen's paradox. Economics are right on. That's right. He's the economic expert. Let's ask him. Do you know the answer to this? Whoa. Giffen's paradox. That's where if you take a product that's not very good and you just make it cost more money, people will buy more of it. Pretty scary, huh? Indeed. But also correct. Oh yeah, but that wasn't an I that, that answered means it. He passes, right? He can be on the board. Yes, that's right. Welcome to the board of directors, Sam. Hey. <laughs> Have a seat. Okay. Oh yeah. We're the only one who gets a chair at the board meeting. What do meeting. we do now? Let's discuss proper seating for all board members. Let's see. According to the agenda, there are a few more items to be sorted out before we can discuss new business. Oh. First, we have to talk about a color scheme for the executive washroom renovation this spring. Are there <laughs> any suggestions? Oh my, um, how about I just take this? Um, excuse me? Yes? I'd like to take a restroom break. Well... The, uh, my assistant can represent me while I'm gone. Hey! hey. <laughs> Finally, a chance to make a difference. Thanks, Sam. Great. See you guys later. <laughs> nice. I'll just take that. All right. Listen up, everybody, because there are going to be some changes around here. Oh, dear. <laughs> Let's never go in that room again. But the good news is we now have the key to the bathroom so we can let the velocimometer out. And this is probably the hardest... Uh, to get. That is not the sound effect I expected from using a key on a bathroom door. Oh, hey! Hi! Hello! You're safe now. I've got you! Thank you. Will you take me back to the wind machine? Sure thing, Velocimometer. You can call me Fellow if you want to. Okay, Aww. fellow. I'll take you home. That's shorter and easier. Thank you. <laughs> Aww. She's so sweet. <laughs> well, that was rude. Wake up, Sam. It's time to eat cheese giblets in the bathroom. I like how you keep the cheese giblets even after using them on the rock. Alright, I think that's everything we have to do inside the actual Weather Building. So before we end the episode, I want to bring Wingnut and the Velocimometer back to their respective machines. 
Alright. Wingnut, you go right here. Here we are, Wingnut! And not a moment too soon, I see. Boy, I can't leave you guys alone for two minutes without everything getting all out of whack, can I? Hmm? Oh, sure, that's right, Wingnut. Yeah, you must be the most important guy here. <laughs> not really. Oh. There we go. There. That looks better already. What would we do without you? You know, it actually does look better. <laughs> Hello, Sam. <laughs> Sorry, we didn't mean to startle you. You fixed the sun machine. Yes, I did. <laughs> That's so great. Yes, according to our weather monitors, things are already looking a little better. We wanted to tell you you were doing a good job. I love that perspective. That's good, because there are still three more machines to be fixed. There's plenty to do here as well. I'll take care of those other machines right away. Very good. Bye now. Sweet. <laughs> How do you like that? Not even a word about my performance. Typical. Uh, screw you, we nut. <laughs> Get it? That looks like some kind of solar collector. Hi, we nut. How's it going? Everything's cool now that I'm here. Okay, he's so full of himself. I can't. I can't stay around. Oh, hey, check it out. The UV filter is actually getting pure sunlight in there. That's pretty cool. And <laughs> sure enough, they're making canned sunlight now. All right, back to the wind machine. Here, Velo, this is where you belong. Turn this back first. Do we have to? Here we are. Oh, goody, home. Jump. <laughs> I love, Hello, I love the, uh, the style of her. Well, young man, I see you've fixed another weather machine. That's right. I brought Velo back to the wind machine. The weather is already starting to get better. Yes, the sandstorms at the South Pole have come down a lot. <laughs> You're doing a fine job. Keep up the good work. Okay, I've just got two more machines to go. Good. Keep us informed of your progress. Goodbye now. All right. And I think that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. The next episode will be the last one. We will get the last two uh, weather pieces, put them back, and beat the game. It'll be an awesome episode. Hope to see you then. In the meantime, have a great day, and God bless.